What's something we all just pretend no one does, but in truth we know we all do it. It is not the picking of the nose that separates us, but what comes after. A. Eat it. B. Put it in a tissue. C. Stick it to nearest hidden surface. D. Flick and let universe decide its fate. That feeling when you finally flick the sticky booger off your finger after seven tries. Panic clean before guests come over to then apologize for the mess. Until you start having no panic, then you stop cleaning, it follows that you stop apologizing for the mess. And finally you stop having visits. Kids hide their profanity from adults, and adults hide their profanity from kids. Because both sides must maintain the illusion that the other side doesn't know that they know profanity. I still remember vividly the first time I heard my 13-year-old boy loudly exclaim F-U-C-K through an open window. He was carrying groceries in and dropped a gallon of milk on the pavement. It was proper usage, and I couldn't bring myself to yell at him over actual spilled milk, so here we are. Read messages from the notification bar then pretending you didn't see the message only much later. I occasionally turn off my Wi-Fi and data, read the message, close the app and then turn data slash Wi-Fi back on. It seems to work. I gotta ask, at that point, why not turn off read receipts? I like seeing when others have read my messages. I just don't like them seeing when I do. Sometimes I'm a giant hypocrite. Recently I had to insist that my wife knocks loudly and waits before opening my son's bedroom door. I really had to explain why FFS. I know he's constantly jacking off, but he would be mortified if anyone knew, especially his parents. I was hanging out late at my brother's house when his sons were 13 and 15 but also shared a bedroom. The kids had all showered, gone to bed, then the bedroom door opens and the 15 years old heads into the bathroom. My brother says, I just don't get that boy. Seems like every night he takes a shower, goes to bed, then gets up and takes a 20-minute shit. To this day I still don't know if he was so willfully ignorant or making a low-key joke. Maybe he had truly forgotten what being a teenage boy was like. Making up conversations in my head before something important. Like I will say this and then the response from other person might be this. Sometimes it can go for 10 to 15 minutes before I snap back to reality. Especially arguments. I can have both sides of an argument with someone all by myself in my own head. This is why I spend so long in the shower lol, just stand there going through potential arguments in my head and how I'd win them. If anyone asks why I was in the shower for 30 minutes though I'd never say so. Also the arguments IRL never really go how they did in my head, I'm a lot smarter and wittier when I'm arguing against myself. Winning fake arguments in your head. Hey, it's better than losing a fake argument in your head. I lose arguments in my head all the time. It helps me rethink my perspective. I really respect this answer. I do this too sometimes. I feel like it's really important to figure out who was actually right after an emotional argument slash disagreement. Intrusive thoughts that make us question whether we're secretly psychopaths. Everybody has those. Right? right? Our brains are association machines. It's not a big deal. It just means we see the possibilities. It just so happens that the possibilities include abhorrent acts like murder. Fart in public. I was at Home Depot a few months back and I was walking down an aisle and another dude was walking down that same aisle towards me. When he realized I would be walking where he just was his exact words were, I bout just shit my pants right over there, maybe give it a minute before you head that way. I've never been so appreciative towards a complete stranger. That's real looking out for your fellow man right there. We've all been out and unknowingly walked through someone else's fart, or had someone else walk through ours. Edit, wow. After reading y'all's comments everything from husbands slash wives busting ass in a grocery store line and one leaving the innocent spouse to take the heat, to teachers purposely crop dusting students who are acting a fool, I've realized y'all are some sick and twisted individuals, and I love it and I'm pretty sure some of you are evil geniuses. To those of you who have commented how gross we are and that you have never popped one off in public, let me apologize on behalf of all of us filthy McNasties.
And lastly, to all of you who have fallen victim to the arid air biscuit and have suffered trauma because of it, I'm pretty sure this is where some of y'all's origin stories begin. Please remember that there are good people like my Home Depot homie who are doing God's work trying to prevent people from the awful experience of unknowingly walking through and tasting someone else's brand. Simply put, y'all are awesome. Thanks for watching like and